This video is a short demo on running Python scripts from Xcode. Uh, first, we'll create a new Xcode project from Xcode's file menu. And under the OS 10 templates, we're going to select Other and we'll select external build system. The um, product name, well the organization name could be your name, the developer's name, a company name. Um, we'll just call it developer, generic developer. And the product name, we'll name this Python scripts. Because as I'll show you, we can actually uh, choose to run different scripts from the same project that we create. We don't have to create a new project every time you want to run a, a simple Python script. So, um, so we'll name the product Python scripts. Organization name is your developer's name or your company's name. Uh, the company identifier is uh, reverse.com format. Um, and for the build tool here, this was actually already filled in here, but I want to show you how you can find out where your Python is on your Mac, and it's usually, I believe, always going to be in the same place. But if we open up Terminal and type in which Python, that should return the path for the Python executable. We can copy that and paste it into this build tool area when we create the new Xcode project. That's going to um, tell Xcode where, where this actual build tool is on your computer. You know, and that's going to be the build tool that we send the Python code to the Python script, which you'll see in a minute how we do that. So we create this project. I'll just save it on my desktop here for now. and. Um, we have a, a blank project here. As you can see, there's there are no files here. Um, we can create a simple Python f script here, or a Python file. Create um, under File Menu New. We'll select File, and again, under the OS 10 templates, we're going to select Other and Empty, just an empty file that we're going to edit. Well, let's name it. Um, Python demo dot pi and um, we're going to save it in Python scripts. That's the, the project name that we've set up here. Make sure your target is selected for Python scripts. And we can just type a simple command here. Print it works, and uh, that's what we want to see when we run this Python script. And we'll test and see if it's actually working here. Uh, but first, we have to tell Xcode, as I mentioned previously, we're going to tell Xcode where it's going to send this Python script to to actually execute. And um, we go under the Python scripts project name, if we click on the project name here in the upper left, um, we're going to select edit scheme. And there's there's various schemes you can set up in Xcode for various um, functions that you're, you're trying to perform with a project. Um, we're just going to select run debug. And under the info tab, we're going to leave build configuration as debug. Executable, we have to specify, again, that location for Python. <clears throat> so if we actually, I'm going to just use a shortcut here, Shift-Command-G, which is go to folder. And uh, as you can see, I already previously had, had gone to this um, folder. But user bin is going to be the location, the folder, where a lot of these uh, executables are. Um, actually, user USR was, I, I believe, an old reference to, um, originally was a reference to the user home directories, I think, in Unix. 
And BIN is short for binary. That's where the binaries, you know, various um, external binaries are stored on your Mac. So we're going to go to that folder, and if we scroll down here, we find Python. There's actually various versions as to your Python. Um, we're going to select Python, and now Xcode has a place to send this script to, to, to execute this script from. So um, Under debugger, we want to make sure none is selected. And if we go to the next tab, Arguments, and we're going to add a script, or we can add several scripts here. Um, we don't actually have to create a new project every time we want to run a single Python script. We can list several scripts here and then just select ones that we want to run. Um, this gives you a convenient um, place to kind of keep them and run them from anyways. And um, we're just going to add first this Python demo file that I created and um, one other thing we need to do is go to options and select the uh, custom working directory which is going to be the directory for uh, this project which is Python scripts that I saved on the desktop and we'll specify that as the working directory and we should be all set here. Um, now if we go and run this project we see down in the console window, it works. So we know that works. And one other thing, I'll show you how we, what we can do here is, as I mentioned, we could run different scripts from the same project. Um, you could just kind of set this up as a generic project for running various and testing various Python scripts. Um, if you uh, go to add files to Python scripts, we're going to add files to this project. And I happen to have a folder on my desktop with several simple Python scripts in it. And uh, it's called miscellaneous Python scripts. And I can just pick a couple of these things to add to my project. Now, if I want to run one of these, I would simply go back to the edit scheme and add these to the argument list and select the one that I want to run at any particular time. So if I add these here, And let's just uh, select the, I'll select my inside functions script here to run. Select OK. And this is what the actual script looks like. It's a simple little demonstration on uh, calling functions in Python. And we run this. And there we go. There's the output. Um, so hope this video was helpful for those who want to have uh, a way to run Python scripts from Xcode. If you use Xcode a lot for other things, uh, the obvious things being um, Mac and iOS applications, but uh, I also use it a lot for um, command line tools and um, so it gives you a, a, a nice convenient place to, to do other things other than just your Mac and iOS applications. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.